happily married. There was nothing weird going on. He's okay. Smaller than me also, so. He's smaller than me also. He's smaller than me. He, Dean no, has no doubt he can take him out, so there was no fear there. Anyway, I'll just tell you really quickly. So, um, in the movie, um, we're on set, and I, uh, I was, I had a cameo in the, I don't even know if you'll see me, but anyway, I was an extra in the ball scene. And so, I'm all dressed up, and you just look ugly in these outfits, unless they're tailored to you. You just look awful. I won't get into that. Anyway, so, we're doing this ball scene, and it's in stores for 12 hours, and you're doing the same scene over and over again. Everybody was hot, and it was, like, right at the end, so everybody's, like, dehydrated. And at the beginning of each scene, um, Ricky and I started in the same place, and so, Whenever we would go, you'd go back to one and you'd wait there until they were ready to start again. So we were chatting all day long and he was, he's really cheeky. He's darling, but he's really cheeky. He was always just saying these things. And so, children, I just want you to know that um, what I'm about to tell you is not, I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not an example of what a person you should emulate. <laughs> but I, I don't think it was in my right mind, my dehydration. So anyway, he came up to me and he said, um, after, you know, later I want you to sign a copy of Ostland for me. And I was like, Psh, I'll sign anything. I'll sign your underwear. <laughs> Not being serious. I don't know why I even said it. Dehydration. And, and he immediately called this guy. His name's Foggy. He's the third assistant director. And he said, I need a, I need a Sharpie. Shannon's going to sign my underwear. <laughs> and again, I thought this was kind of a joke because on a movie set, everybody's very busy. You don't fool around. You don't waste a moment. They're signal lights. Any second, they're going to say action. And I didn't think there was any way he would do it. But Foggy got on his little radio that goes to every crew member. And then he says, I need a Sharpie ASAP. And literally three seconds later, three different PA assistants came running and said, I had him a Sharpie. And he handed it to me. And there we were. And I just went, Oh, and then Ricky, he's wearing the breeches, and they have like the button, 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 button like that. And he went, <laughs> I've never seen anybody unbutton their hair so fast. So he was like exquisitely fast. He was so practiced in it. And I took it, and I just signed it. And, and then Foggy took the pen, and they said, action. And then we did the scene, and I was kind of like, oh, what just happened? And then that was it. That was the end of the scene. I kind of, and then they wrapped for the day, and I kind of walked off the set in kind of a, a faint. I was like in a fog. I was like, did that just happen? I'm finally getting hot. And, uh, <laughs> nothing to do with the story. It was just <laughs> And then, and then um, somebody saw me, or, or one, of our, one of my best friends there, uh, Andy, who, who he had the extra camera that he would just do like DVD extra kind of stuff on it. I was like, oh my gosh, the weirdest thing just happened. And he's like, wait, I'll get it on camera. <laughs> and so he, he, he gets the camera up, and then another guy walks by and says, another guy, Gideon, he does the sound, he's a sound guy, and he said, what are you doing? And, and Andy says, Shannon's going to tell a story about Ricky, and he says, well, you, not with that crap camera, uh, microphone, and he gets out his boom mic, and he plugs it into the thing, and he extends it out, and so here he's got, someone's got a camera on me, someone's got the boom mic hanging down, and then someone else walks by, a producer, he's like, what are you doing? He's like, Shannon's going to tell a story. And they're like, okay, um, wait, not in this lighting, and they push me back onto the set, where it's all lit. So I mean, it's three, light, light camera sound, action, and then Right then, Ricky walks by. I says, "What are you doing?" I said, "I was. I think I was going to tell this. What just happened?" And so he comes up, and he folds his arms like this in front of the camera, and says, "I feel so violated." <laughs> and tells his his ridiculous version of events on camera, and I'm like, and I'm still in this horrible costume. I'm like, "What? No, that's not what happened. No, that's not what happened." And then, and then that's it. It starts all on camera, and I kind of walked away, going, "Hi." And then a couple of the actors, James Callis and J.J. Field were watching in the background and we wrote down in the little golf cart together. I was like, I wonder what my friends in Utah are going to think about that. And, and James said, I wonder what your husband's going to do. And it never crossed my mind. So I went home and I immediately called Dean. I was like, okay, this is what just happened. I told him the whole story. And his only question was, where did you sign? And I said, on the waistband. Because actually he was wearing, it was all black underwear except there was some white on the waistband. And Dean said, wimp. <laughs>